Good afternoon. We'll have press statements by the Secretary General and the President. Secretary General. President uh, Dukanovic, Der uh, Milo, uh, welcome back to the NATO headquarters. It's always a great pleasure to meet uh, with uh, you. And uh, uh, we uh, just uh, finished a very uh, interesting meeting where we covered a wide range of issues which are of uh, great importance uh, for Montenegro and uh, uh, for uh, NATO. And uh, let me start by congratulating you on the third anniversary of Montenegro's uh, accession to uh, the alliance. Uh, NATO membership has been good for your security and for your prosperity. Since joining uh, NATO, investment in your country by other uh, allies has more than doubled. Being part of uh, the NATO family has also helped Montenegro uh, through the pandemic. Allies have um, provided you with support, including medical supplies, airlift, uh, and um, financial assistance. At the security and the security challenges we faced before COVID-19 have not gone away. NATO will continue to ensure this um, health crisis does not become a security crisis. Our forces remain uh, ready and uh, vigilant. During this pandemic, both state and non-state actors um, have used disinformation and propaganda to try to undermine our alliance and our democracies. In NATO, we are working together to identify, expose and counter disinformation. Those uh, who try to divide us will not succeed. Montenegro continues to be a highly valued uh, ally which contributes uh, to Euro-Atlantic security including with your presence in NATO's K4 peacekeeping mission in Kosovo, our multilateral, multilateral multinational battle group in Latvia, and our training mission in Afghanistan. Just as uh, NATO can count on Montenegro, Montenegro can count on uh, NATO. NATO air policing ensures your skies are safe with jets from Italy and Greece. And through a trust fund, we are helping to destroy surplus munition uh, in Montenegro. So, President Tukanovic, uh, NATO and Montenegro have achieved a lot during the last three years, and I look forward to continuing to work uh, together with you. So, once again, welcome. It's a great pleasure to have you here, and you have the floor, please. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, General Secretary. Dear Secretary uh, General, dear Jens, uh, thank you, first of all, for the welcoming words. And thank you for the compliments for Montenegro based on this three-year experience of cooperation within the NATO alliance. I would like to express how happy we are with the cooperation within NATO and the cooperation even before our membership, and particularly in the last three years since we became the full-fledged member. I want to say that during these last three years we were learning intensively and I believe we have been progressing. And through participation in the joint activities of NATO, I believe that we confirmed ourselves as responsible member of NATO, able to contribute to reinforcing peace and stability on the global level. I believe that this proved to be so through our participation in various NATO missions, Afghanistan, Kosovo, Latvia, and our preparations to participate in Iraq mission, and through all other duties that we, as responsible member state, undertook. You certainly know that Montenegro submitted the national plan, uh, which covers the period by 2024, which shows how determined we are to meet the obligations that every country member state has related to financing and ensuring efficiency of the NATO alliance. And this is also an opportunity for me to express gratitude for the support that Montenegro was provided with in this stage of dealing with COVID-19. So, we put the most difficult stage behind us. It was the stage for fighting for, of fighting for human lives. 
And I want to share how happy we are that Montenegro has shown a high level of responsibility, efficiency and organization of our institutions and high level of competence or knowledge in the key subsystems in the state, starting with the health system. So thanks to all of this, we had the opportunity to declare, according to the WHO uh, criteria, that we have the end of the epidemic and we were able to say Montenegro is a corona-free de destination. Now we have to face the second stage of dealing with COVID-19. So. The key challenges are now in the field of economy, fast recovery of all economic resources to reinforce social stability and keep the political stability for the challenges that we are about to face. The key challenge now in, in that field is the fact that we will have elections in the forthcoming months. It's very important that the elections happen in the environment of full stability and security. Because we will have to test the capacities of our countries to resist different attempts of uh, third parties who want to destabilize us in the region. I want also to express that we deeply respect the heritage of the transatlantic partnership after the Second World War, and we have just been reinforcing that in the last three years, and that assures us it is the formula for more stable and high-quality future of the region that we live in. Unfortunately, the cause of all our problems is the fact that we in the Western Balkans have been for too long outside of the European system of values and outside of the heritage of the Euro-Atlantic community. That's why we believe that example of Montenegro is a very good example. We are happy that we are not the youngest member anymore in NATO, that Northern Macedonia joined us recently. So the circle of Euro-Atlantic security is being extended in the region of the Western Balkans. We welcome the idea to keep the door of NATO open for further enlargement, and we believe that the only good choice for our region is to continue working on Euro and Euro-Atlantic integration. Montenegro, with its experience, can be and is a very good example, positive example. We are willing to continue working on the promotion of this stability in the region of the Western Balkans. I look forward to our future cooperation, and I'm sure that in the period ahead of us, we will successfully deal with all the challenges related to the security of our region, European security, and global security. Thank you. Thank you very much. This concludes these press statements. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat>